All right, jetboaters.net family, I'm adding a second bilge to my 242X, and I'm gonna use a Blue Sea bilge pump control panel here. This is the cutout shape that they want us to use. That's actually the gasket, but this, the cutout is the same. When you look at the back of this guy, you don't actually need anywhere near as big a hole. But uh, I'm gonna cut a hole, obviously, in the boat, as my wife calls it, my, when I'm out drilling holes in the boat. I'm not gonna drill. I'm actually gonna use a DeWalt uh, it's actually for cutting drywall. Works well in fiberglass as long as you don't go too far. It's got a nice guide there so you can not go too far through and be worried about wires on the other side. And I'm going to put it in here, right next to the main switch here. And you can see I've already drawn uh, on, my, on their template where I'm actually going to cut. And what I do, and I'll show you as I do it, is I drill corner holes first with a drill bit and then I join it together using this guy. So I'll show you that as we go. Next up, drilling holes in the boat. First thing I do is I drill holes in the corners just to, to basically connect the cutting bit through. So I'm going to come in here and just turn the drill the right way. Let's see, it's pretty simple. Let it out of the corner here. Okay, that gives me my corner points, and then what I will do is join them up. One of the things you may notice on the bottom of this picture is I have a shop vac here, and I haven't started it yet because I was recording the audio here, but as I go do this next piece here, that shop vac's going to be running the whole time because that dust goes everywhere. If you can have somebody else doing that while you're cutting, even better, because uh, you can get closer. Mine will just be running there. So there's our hole, all cut, and yes, it looks really ugly, but doesn't really matter one bit because this is gonna go right over the face there like that, and it's got enough wiggle room I can adjust it and get it perfectly the way I want it, and it'll look excellent sitting right there. So you don't need to worry about, wow, I gotta make a really perfect, nice looking hole, because you're never gonna see it again. I already have this switch panel mounted behind the helm. That is what I will wire my power line and ground line into. There's the switch finally installed. Looks nice right there with next to the main switch and uh, functions perfectly, auto on and off. I routed the cable from the bilge area into the engine compartment right here. It's the same way I actually took the um, transducer line wrapped around the inside of the engine compartment. I need to do a couple more tie downs on that to finish it off. And then when you look down in back, that dark black hose in the back there, that's the bilge hose drilled through from the bilge area into the engine compartment, ran it through that hole. And then it runs around the side of the engine compartment. I cut another hole through here. I need to vacuum that too. That goes into the side compartment and then comes out from the side compartment and goes up to the, um, hard, to, hard to get on the shot, goes up to those outlets up there. All right, that's the, uh, the how-to. So this is the clean-out hatch and the clean-out tray. When I actually put the bilge in, I had the tray all out and pulled. And you wanna look in here and you can see in here where I put the bilge pump. I put it on the uh, port side on an edge there. I tried to get it into the groove down the center, um, but there really wasn't a good place to put it there. So I put it down the side there. Worked out well. Pipe was a little tight. I think I would have put it a little further out next time if I were to do it again. And that's a pretty thick piece of transom or bottom of the boat there. The only thing I have left to do is to take some caulk. I'm just using a silicone caulk and I'm gonna caulk around the edge of the tray. That's the last part to do. 
because water comes up the drain tube here when you come to a halt, fills this. this is often mostly how water gets on top of your plugs, which aren't in, they're sitting over here. Um, and so if this isn't sealed well, this isn't this gasket isn't clean, and this edge isn't sealed all the way around, that water will go straight into your bilge. So that pipe then goes out the side, comes out over here, and as you can see, I put another bilge outlet on the side here on top um, so that we now have two bilge outlets.